Two families mourning the loss of their loved ones killed by fireworks on the 4th of July. A 15 year old losing several fingers in another explosive emergency, and that's not all. Local Times' Roy Ramos is live in Fort Lauderdale with how this holiday turned into a day of danger. Roy. Nicole and Louie, firework displays are something that people look forward to on the 4th of July, but there's a reason that they're conducted by experts. They're dangerous. This 4th of July, two people have lost their lives. One 15 year old is now recovering here at Broward Health Medical Center after holding one of those fireworks in his hand that exploded. Friends and family of 31 year old Tavares Hamilton gathered outside of his Papano Beach home for a candlelight vigil to remember the father who lost his life this July 4th. Family member said he was lighting fireworks for the children in the neighborhood when investigators said he put a PVC pipe partially in the ground and put a three inch mortar shell inside. He then lit the explosive, but it detonated before he could move away. Just, just tragic. I mean, you know, with the family right now, it's, it's unexpected. You know that this will happen through firework. While Hamilton was rushed to the hospital with severe shoulder, neck, and head injuries, he ultimately lost his life. Nobody doing good right now. We just got to try to pull ourselves together. Just four miles east on Northeast Second Terrace, Papano Beach Fire responded to a 15-year-old boy who they said had a Roman candle blow up in his hand, severing several fingers. Both of them involved illegal fireworks, um, people wanting to have fun, that wound up losing their their fingers losing their life. The makeshift firework displays proving to be deadly twice in Broward County this Independence Day. In Fort Lauderdale, 32 year old Gavin's caddy killed after friends told local 10 he'd been drinking and held a Roman candle in his hand when it exploded. In Lauder Hill, some chose to celebrate with gunfire. This bandage covered the knee of Thomas Glasgow after he told me a stray bullet hit him as he lit fireworks with his children. I'm glad that I was the one that got hit and not one of my kids or my daughter, you know what I'm saying? My wife, my wife's praying and everything. And fortunately, in that case, none of those children were injured. As for the 15 year old that's being treated here, we're going to continue to check in on his condition and let you know of any updates that come our way. Outside of Broward Health Medical Center, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. All right. Thank you, Roy.